Yo, what's going on crew? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Serrano and right now I'm using the Samsung Galaxy uh, Z Fold 3 and I wanted to share with you 12 ways that you could save battery using the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 and so I've been using this device since almost like 7 a.m. and I still got 26% and it's like 12 a.m. in the morning and so I'm going to show you how you can get your device to last pretty much the entire day with more to spare after the day is through so make sure you guys stay locked into the video and if you're brand new to the channel i truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new but if you're already a part of the crew so So the first thing you want to do is actually go into display settings on your device and you want to first go into the front panel and you want to go into settings display then you want to go into motion smoothness and turn it to standard and you'll get a longer bat battery life automatically when you change it to standard but that's not it because what you want to do is also go into the larger display open it up then go into settings and then you want to go into display and go to this display as well because just keep in mind there are two different displays that you're using and so when you have the device set up on standard display instead of the 120 hertz refresh rate you're automatically going to get a lot more battery life now the second thing that i do to actually save battery on my samsung galaxy z fold 3 is I go into um, the display or whatever again and I basically just go down where it says you know the always on display which is going to be on this device and it's not in display actually you just type AOD and that's going to be in the lock screen of the device so when you're inside of the lock screen right here just type hit that and what you want to do is turn off the always on display because when that with that coming on all the time it's actually going to reduce your battery life now the third thing that i do to save battery battery on my samsung galaxy z fold 3 is i turn off enhanced processing this mode right here and this gets faster um, data processing for all apps except games but it actually uses more battery life so i recommend that you turn that feature off to uh, actually you know what i'm saying salvage a little bit of more battery on your samsung galaxy z fold 3 okay okay now the fourth thing that i do on the samsung galaxy z fold 3 to save battery life is i actually turn on the dark mode on this device so as you can see it's actually set to dark mode but what you want to do is have it on dark mode because the lighter the display is the more battery is going to be taken up and then so the next thing i would actually do is set a wallpaper on your inner display and outer display um, which is going to actually be a dark wallpaper so i use wall um, candy to actually use wall different wallpapers on here and so um you know I'm, I'm basically updating the app right now so i could get more wallpapers and optimization but wall candy is the app that i use to download all my wallpapers and so what you want to do is actually get a wallpaper on your samsung galaxy z fold 3 inner and outer display that's actually going to be um like a dark screen wall screen screen paper so that it can actually use less pixels on the inner and on the outer display okay now so the fifth thing that i do to save battery on my samsung galaxy z fold 3 make it last a little bit longer throughout the day is go into battery and device care and then i actually optimize it at least one time per day so that i can get you know um no high use usage of apps it's going to close all the apps in the background and it's basically going to optimize my device and then you also want to go into background usage limits 
and what it is is that you want to turn this on because it's going to put unused apps to sleep and so right now i have about 37 apps in deep sleep mode and so the ones that you're not using you actually want to put into a deep sleep and have those things sleeping in the background so that it's not using up all of your battery and then you can also make certain apps not go to sleep but if you want to save more battery i would recommend that you put certain apps to sleep okay but if you're still here i, I appreciate you for coming through and kicking it with me i just want you to type down below i'm still here in the comment section so i know you're still rocking with me and I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people and help beat the YouTube algorithm. Okay. And so the sixth thing that I do to save battery on here is also in the option where it says battery and device care, because what you want to do is turn on the feature on this device that says um, a, a, a adaptive battery. So you'll click more battery settings and what you want to do is turn on adaptive battery so that it can extend the battery life based on your phone's usage. And so this is the eighth way to do it, but I actually don't use this feature quite often unless I'm at like 5% or less, but you can actually activate the power savings mode right here. And this is going to actually once you turn that on, it'll actually cut down the background network usage, syncing and locations will be limited and motion smoothness automatically will be changed to 60. And it turns off the always on display like I talked about, but it's going to limit your CPU speed to 70%, decrease the brightness by 10% and limit apps um, on the home screen. And so the ninth way to save battery on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 is to turn off the sound to vibrate. But another way to actually even save more battery is to actually mute your device so that you're not constantly getting ringtones coming out of the speaker, which is gonna produce more um, drainage of the battery. So I would recommend actually, you know, either putting it on vibrate or mute so that the haptics won't be, the haptic engine motor once, once it's being used, that's actually going to consume more battery as well. And so the ninth reason, the ninth way to save battery on this device is by turning off your, um, you know, what I'm saying your, 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 um, the ninth way is to basically set the home screen to time out to 30 seconds so that the display will cut off a lot quicker. Because if you have it for like five minutes or 10 minutes, I've been using mine for 10 minutes for the last week. But I realized that if I have it set for 30 seconds or one minute, it's actually only going to um, uh, save battery so that I'm not having the display turned on when I'm actually not using the device. And so the 11th way is to actually go into the, the brightness of the display right here. And you actually want to go to the hit the three dots and actually choose adaptive brightness so that it's going to actually um, fluctuate. And based on your environment, it'll actually dim the display or adjust it to the maximum um, brightness without draining too much battery. And then what I also do is I tap on extra dim right here, which will actually use less of the display's brightness so that it's not producing as much power on here. And so the last way to save battery on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, this is the 12th way, is to use your modes feature, which has actually been a new feature that was released. And what you want to do in, in order to use modes, you basically go pull down the menu right here and long hold it. And it says you can choose mode based on what you're doing and where you are. Your phone settings will match your activity. So if you're going to sleep, I would actually, you know, make it so that you can turn this mode on set your usual wake up times uh, sleep mode will turn on and off at these times and so you can actually put your phone to sleep when you go to sleep and then if you're not sleeping if you're in the movie theater you can actually set it so that 
for a time period most apps won't open and this mode will actually turn on if any conditions are met or turn off what none of the conditions are met so basically it's going to optimize your phone's usage based on what you're doing like if you're driving um you will be limited to certain apps and notifications if you're just relaxing it's going to minimize the distractions and help you focus and if you're at work it's basically going to only ring for essential phone calls and messages so i would actually you can actually customize your own but this is going to be the top 12 reason ways you can actually save battery on the z fold 3 but let me know if you have any additional ways to save battery on the z fold 3 i know turning off bluetooth helps I know turning off um, the syncing mode right here um, helps as well when you're not using when you're not like expecting an email you could turn off syncing which will actually limit some so that that's 14 right there and then location being turned on save turned off saves battery as well and um, let me know if you have any additional ways that's 15 altogether but let me know and share them in the comment section down below but I appreciate you for staying locked in with me and um, just type I'm still here if you made it to the end of the video and I just remind you to hit the like button but I'll make sure you watch another video in the left or the right hand corner or follow me on social media and I'll get right back with you okay later crew peace